Hi, good afternoon folks. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2020 on a 70 plate Citroen Relay 2.2 HDI Enterprise in L4 H2 specification or format, I should say. Um, so just to explain that to you a little bit. Uh, Enterprise specification is the top of the range specification in these vans when you buy one new from Citroen. This means this van has electric windows, mirrors, air conditioning, DAB FM AM, we have factory sat nav, Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music, reverse parking sensors, cruise control, uh, multifunction steering wheel, um, and I think that's about it. Reverse parking sensors, did I mention that? L4 format means it is the extra long wheelbase, so this is the longest one that you can get. H2 is high roof, yes you can get a H3 which is the extra high roof, this one seems to be the more popular version. Um, and the 2.2 HDI engine is the very latest engine from Citroen, okay, so uh, the 2.2 Euro 6 engine has superseded the 2 litre, so thought to be the better unit uh, to have in these as well. Now obviously this one, it's a 2020 on a 70 plate, it does still have a little bit of manufacturer's warranty left on it, um, for your peace of mind there. Uh, although we do uh, obviously warranty uh, or warrant the vans ourselves, so speak to us if you are after any kind of extended warranty. Um, now, the purpose of these videos is to give you warts and all video walk around of the van so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers will buy having watched these videos, leave a deposit and come and collect, or leave a deposit and get a uh, quote for delivery. <clears throat> yes, we can finance, yes, we can part exchange, so speak to us from that point of view. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now, let's get started, shall we? Um, we'll go around to the front. I always tend to start from the front and we always tend to start from the top of the roof. So as you can see, the roof, uh, leading edge of the roof, uh, the roof cone is in a good overall condition. Uh, no apparent damage there or anything. Coming down to your windscreen. Windscreen again, good overall condition. Uh, we have a couple of minor stone chips on it. I don't think either of those will cause us grief when it comes to MOT time. Uh, we will be putting a fresh MOT on the vehicle before it goes out. Uh, it will be its first MOT on this one, won't it? So, down onto your bonnet. Bonnet is in good overall condition, as you can see. I'll give you a close-up of it. Uh, no major stone chips or damage. Uh, you will always get the minor stuff. Uh, if we find anything, we will go around it with a touch-up stick. Coming down to the front of the vehicle, your front grills, front of the front bumper, etc. In overall good condition. Uh, there's a couple of minor bits I will point out to you in a second as I go around, but let's do the passenger light unit first. That's all good. Obviously, you have daytime running lights on these. And then your front um, bumper corner, as you can see, that is in good overall condition with no scuffing. If we look down the passenger side of the vehicle, a few things to note. Uh, yes, you can see a reflection in the paintwork, which means it's got a bit of a mirror finish to that white, white paintwork. It's obviously had a bit of love in its time. Nothing major really to point out to you in a, from a dents and dings point of view as we look down the side profile of the van there. Around to the driver's side, driver's side headlamp unit is good. Driver's side front bumper corner now. We do have just a small amount of impact damage on the front there, okay? Just a little bit there, a little bit there, okay? It's on the black uh, plastic bit. It isn't particularly standout. We would be selling that as it sort of stands there, okay? And then looking down the side profile of the van, again, take note, nice little mirror finish to the paintwork as well. And again, nothing really to point out to you from a condition point of view in any kind of major way, shape or form. Driver's side front wing, that's in overall good condition. Uh, driver's side front steel wheel, uh, we have a budget tire on there this tire i've been looking at it i think we may well be replacing it your factory steel wheel on there overall good condition a few little minor bits of corrosion but as you can see that tire is getting a bit a little bit low for my liking uh, it just looks low uh, so we'll get that replaced driver side mirror unit uh, with integrated indicator is all good upper and lower mirrors are good obviously those are electric and then your driver side front window Again, overall good condition. Corner of your roof cone up there is all good. Just coming down, showing you the door as a hole and it's in overall good condition. Your driver's side door lock and handles all good. Check out your door edges as we bring the camera down. And overall pretty good, okay? Getting down low, check out your lower sills and your black protective strip going down the side of the vehicle. 
Uh, all of your side reflectors are present and correct, and there's no damage to the strip or the seals. Mid core to this side, again, overall good condition. And then moving along, your rear core to this side is again in overall good, clean, tidy condition as well. Driver's side rear steel wheel, that's in pretty good condition to be honest with you. Uh, what have we got on there? We've got a budget tyre on there. That tyre looks to have plenty of tyre tread depth there, so that's all good. Uh, rear of the vehicle, you've got like protective strips on the rear of the vehicle. You've got some really minor little marks, um, but nothing major. And then just giving you a viewpoint down the driver's side again, you can see nice reflection in the paint, isn't it? And again, looking very straight and tidy. Let me just stand back and give you an overview of the driver's side of the vehicle. There you go. As you can see, it looks very respectable. I should have mentioned actually, this is the heavy duty version as well. Um, so uh, I think it gives you a little bit more weight carrying capacity. Uh, slightly uprated suspension on it. Uh, rear light units on the driver's side, all good. Rear bumper corners, all good. Rear reflector is where it should be. And then round to the back end of the vehicle. Yes, that, that door on that side isn't closed properly at the moment, so don't worry about that. But as you can see, so there is, as you can see here, a little bit of a ding on the rear door. We'll get our dent man on that. Um, he should be able to get that looking a lot better than what it does. Uh, but this is the working end of the vehicle, it tends to be the end where it has all the action, but in really, this one's not in bad nick, is it really? Um, your driver's side, rear door, this side, again, overall good condition. Passenger side, again, overall good condition. This dead man stuff here, just to have a look at, okay? Um, so we'll, uh, we'll get him to have a look at that. Rear bumper has your integrated factory parking sensors. Minor bits of wear and tear on the bumper. It was valeted yesterday, then we've left it outside. It's rained overnight, so um, we can get it all redressed. But uh, overall, not too bad. Uh, driver's side, um, rear door, lock and handle is also in good condition. If we open up that vehicle, or that door. Uh, looking into the back of it. Okay, so at the moment, we removed the ply flooring. The ply had kind of failed on it, and it looked a bit manky. So we've removed it for now. Obviously, we've cleaned it all underneath. If you're buying it to use it from a commercial aspect, then we will supply it with a fresh ply lined floor. If you're buying it to convert it, then you don't need that floor anyway, that will be replaced. Factory bulkhead, overall good condition as you can see. Ply lining kit on the sides, it's done a job, but there's still plenty of life left on there as well. Uh, wheel uh, arches, as you can see, are in good condition. And then ply lining kit this side, again, it's done a job, but overall good condition. Inside of the rear doors, ply lined, and in actual fact, yes, there are signs of wear and tear on there, but overall pretty good condition. Obviously, if you are buying to convert, you'd be carpet lining these doors anyway. Um, but as you can see, they're in pretty good nick, aren't they? So... Passenger side, passenger side light unit is in overall good condition and your passenger side rear bumper corner with rear reflector is all present and correct. We do have a mark on the bumper here. So it is a scratch mark that goes down the bumper. Not a big deal if you're buying it for commercial use, to be honest with you. And we will be selling it with that uh, uh, as it is there at the moment. Looking down the passenger side and again, you can see nice reflection to the paintwork. All looking pretty good. If I just noticed a minor, minor little ding. Okay, so we're looking here and here. Oh, a couple of really minor little dings. Pretty hard to see, to be fair, but they are there. Okay, folks. Um, we've covered that bit. Arches, overall good condition. Minor little mark there on the plastic, but again, not a big deal. Uh, we have a continental tyre on the back on this side. Steel wheels in overall good condition. That Continental tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth, as you can see. Now, upper quarter this side, overall pretty good. Lower quarter this side, again, overall pretty good. Your side sliding door rails in good order. And again, if we get down low, check out your lower sills. Those are in overall good condition, as are the black protective strips down the side. 
your marker lights are all present and correct as well. And then your sliding door, again, overall good condition. We have, I think, just a minor, minor little ding there. Again, hasn't broken the paint. And I think that's pretty acceptable for the age and the miles. Sliding door handles all good. Passenger door handles all good. If we open up your sliding door, that opens up nicely, slides back and holds into place as you would expect. Door shuts, I think they could do with another quick clean around there to be fair, but overall not too bad. Uh, your sliding door rubber is all present and correct and all good. We have a couple of minor marks on your sill, quite common on the inside here. So uh, some of it is kind of uh, stuff that will, we should be able to get these bits off. Some of it is kind of touching stuff. Flooring inside, as I've said, we've already covered that. If you're buying it to use it commercially, we can put a fresh ply down there for you. If you're buying it to convert it, um, you'd be using a different type of floor anyway. Just another viewpoint of your bulkhead, etc., in the back there. But in the back, it's, uh, it's pretty sweet, to be fair. Passenger side, passenger side door glass, that's all good. Up there to your nose cones, all good. And passenger side door is also in overall good condition. Now we've got a couple of minor little dings here and one there as well. And again, we'd be selling the van with those present. Here is your fuel filler with add blue filler, lockable. Mirror unit this side, upper and lower mirrors are good. Integrated indicators good. And the mirror unit itself, overall good condition. And then down to your passenger side front wing, which again is in overall good condition. Passenger side steel wheel has a budget tire on there. That tire looks as though it's recently been replaced, so that's all good. What we'll try and do, I think, obviously the driver side one needs replacing, so we'll try and match it up to that one if we can. Passenger side, your passenger side door card and bins are in clean, tidy condition. Electric window switch, door shuts, again, clean and tidy. Entry seals and plastics, not in bad condition. Well, you have it's just an, a small element of wear and tear from getting in and out on that side. Having a look at your flooring inside the van, and again, overall good condition. Underneath your seats is clean and tidy. There's your bonnet release, so we'll open that up and show you in there. Glove box. We have an upper glove box on this side as well. Vents are all good. Headlining, overall good tidy condition and then your passenger seat trim backs of the seats all very good there are a couple of minor marks on the seats okay what have we got there we've got one there a couple of minor bits which i think these we might be able to get looking a little bit better selling same with that one but we do just have some damage to the seat trim here okay and unfortunately that kind of does look like a fag burn there doesn't it uh so yeah sorry about that Oh, aye aye, and I think I've just broken the seat. So that cover, so we'll get that cover reattached onto the seat on there for you, okay? Driver's armrest, as you can see. Let's have a quick look under the, quick butchers under the bonnet, shall we? Okay, so uh, under the bonnet here, clean and tidy, hopefully, as you can see. We have coolant over here, correct colour coolant for Citroen, no contamination in it. Brake fluid is there as well. Um, and then your screen wash is hidden all the way around here. Uh, there's your oil filler. Dipstick is the brown one down there. And then if I just give you an overview of the engine, hopefully you can see. There's your airbox there. Overall clean, tidy condition. And then around to the driver's side and your driver's side door card. Let's remove all of our stuff out of it. So the door card itself, clean and tidy. Door bins, clean and tidy. Uh, your electric window switches, central locking and electric mirrors are here. Door shuts, again, pretty clean and tidy. Now your entry seals and plastics, <coughs> you do have the standard wear that you get with these relays of um, it's uh, it's just worn on entry there because you hit it every time you get in and out. Obviously the watermarks will clean off for you and we'll get that touched in, okay? Um, your steps all good. Now your flooring, yes, there is an element of wear on your flooring there, but in actual fact for a 60,000 mile van, that's in pretty good nick. 
pedal rubbers are good. Driver's seat base and seat, again, overall clean and tidy condition. Does have stop start technology, rear fog lights, um, headlamps up and down, and then your mode button for your little computer thing on the dash, of which let's just fire it up for you. So 62,200 miles the vehicle is covered. Obviously I've got the right front door open, so let's close that. Hit the mute button. Um, so there we go, uh, instrument binnacle, clean and tidy. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's not full of dust and all of that. Top of your dashboard, again, as you can see, clean and tidy as well. Yes, you get your little notepad thing there that you can put notepads on. Um, dashboard vents are good. Wipers are on the right-hand stalk. We have a multi-function steering wheel, and as you can see, that's in overall good condition as well. Driver's airbag on there as well. And then over here, we have lights. And then we have your cruise control with speed limiter on the bottom stalk over there. Six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear to the left, um, pull this one up and then uh, uh, reverse gear is to the left and then forward. Tom Tom sat nav on these things and then we have DAB, FM and AM with Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. The all important air conditioning, heated mirrors, central locking, hazard warning lights, electronic stability program. This one is fitted with a storage box under here and then also under here somewhere you will have a USB point, uh, power point under there as well. You've got another 12 volt power there. Have a look at your flooring and between your seats and stuff. Not full of old McDonald's, etc, uh, uh, etc. Et Interior lights. And there we go, folks. Now, let me turn this off again. There are... 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Um, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Yes, there's about 18 minutes of your life you're never going to get back, but it gives you a very honest description of what the vehicle is like um, and I'd say it's a pretty good example to be honest with you folks uh, there we go thanks for watching if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest purchases and like and subscribe to the YouTube channel folks like and subscribe beautiful speak to you later cheers bye